Look at that. Nope, not sponsored by them. I did use Blockett's link in, in the description below to order some stuff. I'm going to talk about that. I, I gave in to something. I'm going to try something one more time. Give it a fair shot is what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to talk about that because this is not old school. This is new way of doing things. Well, newer way of doing things. I'm Dale Verse. I'll be right back. I, uh, I did a video last December probably none of y'all have ever seen it wasn't that great a video probably about me and fishing line and how I was trying to decide what to do because I haven't fished for so long and, and what was best for me and I'm a monofilament guy old school and I still have very good luck with monofilament and braid so if I'm not throwing mono I'm throwing braid Flipping sticks, heavy stuff, buzz bait. And I've been doing pretty well at that, but everybody in the world talks fluorocarbon. Now that video, several people talked bad about fluorocarbon, and I get it. I don't like it. A few years ago, my buddy who was sponsored by, uh, it don't matter. He gave me three of those big spools of his fluorocarbon line. Guys, I didn't like it. Matter of fact, I still got some of it. I used a bunch of it. I tried it for about a year and I didn't like it. I broke it off. And I did go with the real knot, the, the whatever the knot is. I, I'll have to relearn that knot because what I'm talking about here. Um, I thought it scuffed up pretty easy. I didn't see any big sensitivity thing. I, so a, a buddy of mine down in Springfield, Mike Beasley, told me I used the wrong line. He said I used a, a inferior version of fluorocarbon. I listened to him, but I didn't ever do anything else because truthfully, why? This stuff's working for me. But I watch these videos, I watch all these guys, and everything's fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon. Now, I will never, ever, ever do a braid to fluorocarbon or blade, a leader to braid. I, ain't, I tried that. It's ridiculous. There's no reason for it. I'll either use straight braid or straight whatever. I never have got that. I tried it for a while, it's just a pain in the butt, another place for something bad to happen. How's that for preaching? I'm preaching, ain't I? I gotta quit preaching. Yeah, whatever. So in, in, in trying to be versatile and open-minded and not so set in my ways like us old guys tend to get, well, what happened was the other day I wanted to order something. I, an air bladder fizzing tool. I haven't had one. Well, we used to just use a freaking hypodermic needle back in the day. I haven't had one since I came back to fishing. And it's not that I'm catching fish deep or anything, but it's summertime still. I may be able to save somebody else's fish. And these things are a real reasonable price, so I go to Tackle Warehouse. I use Randy's link because that's fair. I appreciate when y'all use my links. I mean, there's no reason not to use somebody else's link, give them credit, even though I only spend a little bit. And I don't remember these things. Well, I do. Wait a minute. Somewhere here, I, I look at it. I got an invoice. I just opened a box, didn't I, dummy? So I think ten bucks. And shipping probably would have been four or five, six bucks. We all hate shipping, don't we? So I'm looking at this, thinking, what else could I need? You know what? I'm trying to experiment with this uh, wacky worm stuff. And I, the hooks I'm using, I'm losing fish on. I ordered a five pack of one aught six cents wacky rig hooks. There's a million different hooks. I ordered one that looked pretty decent. A slightly wider gap than the one I'm using. Kind of circle hook shape. So I ordered those. That were, uh, what, $2.99? <laughs> that's a lot of money for five hooks. No, that's whatever. That's actually makes sense. So I got those and I'm going to be trying them. As a matter of fact, I got wacky where I'm having thrown again now for months. I'm going to rig it up next time with one of these and, and see if I can keep some more fish on. I'm trying to make improvements, y'all. Cut me a little slack or give me some credit. So now I've spent 13 bucks. It'll still be $6, $7 shipping. And I got to thinking. 
about Randy, about other people, and his freaking fluorocarbon crap. <laughs> so I ordered some. I ordered Randy, Seagar, and Vizex. Okay? 15 pound spool, 200 yard spool. Oh, I thought that said meter for a second. I was going to get mad. 200 yards, 183 meters. 15 pound, good overall size. Come on, y'all, seriously. 200 yards, 29 bucks for that frickin' spool fishing line. What a rip-off. It can't be that good, can it? 29 dollars for 200 yards line. Tell me this ain't a frickin' sport that's for the rich folks, for the in, empowered, endowed, but I tried it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to give it a fair shot. I wouldn't throw it in a tournament to save my life right now. I'm going to relearn that wicked, stupid-looking knot it has three tag-ins. Because that's knot you're supposed to use. Because a polymer knot that I've used forever with monofilament. An improved polymer, double through the eye that I use with braid. Apparently, it's not good enough for this special high-dollar promotional line. What a great... Soft and easy cast. Soft and easy cast. Suave à facile de lanzar, or douche, <laughs> douche et facile, et douche. <laughs> That's what it says, D-O-C-E, douche, That's, or douse. Soft and easy to cast. Easy, to, monofilament is plenty easy. Yeah, I get monofilament ain't soft sometimes. Strong and sensitive. Strong. It's 15 pound test. Somewhere between 15 and 16 pounds is going to break. What does strong have to do with anything? Easy to cast. Strong and sensitive. Sensitive. That's what I didn't see last time. That's my buddy Mike told me maybe I wasn't using good enough line and breaking easy. Less visible underwater than monofilament. I'm going to call bull spit on that, but I, I probably maybe. Less visible than monofilament underwater. Truthfully, I don't think I really care that much about visibility. I gotta find the fish first. Exceptional knot strength. Well, if you use an exceptional knot, I would hope so. Exclusive 100% Seaguar resins. That tells me that Seaguar makes this line themselves or has this line built to their specifications. Maybe. Come on, guys. There ain't that many places in the world to build fishing lines, so. Probably that comes out and it goes in different boxes. If it's their own resin, maybe they get their own color box. Whatever. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it on this pole right here. My A jig rod. It ain't been thrown since Truman over a month ago. It's a, it's a Dobbins Champion Series. Uh, 704, 703DC, 7'3", inch. Uh, considered a medium heavy rod. Um, great jig rod. The... Uh, it's on loose, reel. That's 15 pound mono on there right now. I'm gonna take it off, I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna experiment with this situation and report back as honest as possible. I'm not gonna throw it in a tournament if I fish any more tournaments. I'm, I'm gonna make this thing work its way through, hopefully catch some fish. Um, I don't know what else I'd put that on where I'd trust it. I don't trust nothing. I trust this Berkeley big game no, it's not fancy. I I fish with better monofilaments and big game, but not enough better to save on the money because big game is flat freaking cheap compared to thirty bucks for turning yards. That's a jig I'm in it. Look at that pretty jig I make my. That's a jig I make myself. A new head here. I'm not selling them yet. It may never. I that jig I made in February. That jig's been on the rod ever since February. I've never lost it yet. It's getting beat to death. I've never lost that jig. That's a pretty good jig right there. That's kind of crazy. I've retied it because it wore itself out. How's that for awesome? Anyway, how, where are we, what, are we, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah. Seaguar. I almost threw that out of the boat. That had to go. That would been ridiculous if I had to go get it, wouldn't it? Better than monofilament. Less visible underwater. Exceptional knot strength. It's like a bunch of bull squat to me. Soft and easy to cast. Douche, douche. <laughs> well, they got the French and maybe Italian. I 
Man, I thought I knew my French. That's French. What is Suave Y Facile de Lanzar? That would. I remember years ago, I was in a Walmart. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, the Walmart. I wasn't fishing tournaments anymore. I remember seeing a spinnerbait. Maybe a Strike King. It had everything on it. It had everything in Spanish below it. I said, well, cool, the Spaniards are bass fishing. Awesome, which they are, but... Uh-oh, get in trouble. $30 for 200 yards. This stuff needs to fix my fish for dinner. It needs to catch me a mess of walleye. And, and fillet them and cook them for me. You've got to be kidding me. It can't last long enough because I cut off three foot at a time. I retie a lot. You can't tell me I don't have to retie this. I ain't going to believe it. Now wait, I thought I was going to be open-minded. I believe this is the best thing ever to have. Seagar in Vizex. I get that right? Seagar in Vizex line. From the pros, who knows? 30 bucks! I can't believe I did that. I'm too poor for that. It's going to get a workout, and I'm going to report back to you guys. Anything you got to talk about, let me know. I'm trying to be open-minded. I'm trying not to be so crass. and so. No, I'm not. I don't really give a damn. I'm crass. I'm, that's what I am. I can't catch enough fish to worry about this stuff. But I'm putting this, taking off perfectly good, still very nice, very good spool of 15-pound Berkeley big game. I have all the faith in the world with its stretch and its memory. See that cold up in that memory? See that? Whatever. You can take a lot of that out. You get that line wet, give her a stretch, it'll come out. Let me know what y'all are thinking. I'm thinking I'm an idiot. God bless you guys. We'll talk at you soon, hopefully. With my Seaguar and Vizex, $300 for 200 well, I, I gotta go.